Hi, welcome. Uh, I'm here today with uh, Sumit Sharma from MuleSoft. Welcome, Sumit. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So, Sumit, everybody talks about the digital transformation of business. Um, this has a, an external component, but it also has an internal component. Um, how do you see it? Yeah, so, you know, if you were to look at uh, what's happening in the industries today, um, if you were to, let's say, look at the retail industry, you're talking about things like the omni-channel, where now the, the, the consumer is actually looking at catalogs and products on a mobile phone or through a social media website. Um, the in-store experience of a consumer, they're talking about transforming that, where now you can actually go into a shopping aisle and scan your, scan your phone and actually see what's the latest information about this product and who else is buying what related to this product. So, you know, that's for, for a retail, retail consumer, that's the next generation digital transformation of the retail industry, if you will, um, where there's a whole new channel, a whole new way of engaging with the consumer. Um, if you look at banking, it's the same thing. How do you do payments in the next generation way? How do you do engagement with a, uh, with a loan for, uh, for a, a loan, uh, someone that's trying to get a loan? Um, the factory floor of the future, um, how factories are being, you know, factory lines are, are getting um, optimized, um, how the industrial internet, as GE or Cisco would call it, is transforming uh, the, the old school companies that were manufacturing things like turbines and railroads. So that's what I would refer to as the outer part of the digital transformation of the world of companies. So what does that mean for the internal organization of the firm? Yeah, so that's a great point. So, you know, obviously to, to, to kind of put a nice fancy outer perspective, you need to fix the house inside. What that means is you need to make sure that the company internally is ready to match those needs of the digital era. And so the company needs to make sure that, you know, whatever data is needed to kind of surface up for consumption at the outside is readily available, is, um, you know, provided in a very easy to use way for the businesses to kind of be able to kind of carry out these business initiatives. It means that the company needs to be agile enough to kind of respond to these quick, you know, the businesses, they don't wait. They need quick initiatives. They need responsiveness. So organizationally, companies need to make sure that they're thinking on how do you actually work with this new agile era. Right now, no company can do very much by itself. And so companies need to uh, work within a larger ecosystem of, of companies, uh, regardless of the production process. Um, and if companies are using data, it's important that they also be able to use data provided by other members of that ecosystem. What's sort of the, the glue that, that, that binds all the different companies with respect to how they exchange and use data? Yeah, so that's a great point. You know, what's happening is that what used to be a monolithic sort of company now, you can think of it as putting a bomb in the middle of it and exploding it, and now you're getting this huge uh, disintegration of processes of, of for companies, and a lot of that is coming internally, a lot of that is from sourced from outside, mm -hmm. and so what's happening is ecosystems are evolving, as you said, and, and, and the way to kind of have the, these ecosystems work properly is through APIs. APIs are this vehicle, this glue, this currency of allowing uh, data to be interchanged in an optimal way for processes to be effectively interlinked with each other, whether it's uh, internally within a company or whether it's an internal business unit with a partner organization um, or, or, or an internal business unit with another sort of constituent in, in the value chain. It could be a supply chain, a reseller, it could be a manufacturer, it could be anything. Right, and so uh, to the extent that companies understand this API revolution, yeah. uh, it's going to impact uh, the degree to which they're able to adapt, would you say? Absolutely. You know, we're seeing a few things, uh, you know, in MuleSoft is where, you know, companies are becoming platforms. Now, they can be a platform for internal innovation. They can become a platform for innovation in the ecosystem outside. And so companies are quickly realizing that, you know, their business models are transforming. And to stay up and alive, they need to kind of make sure that they are keeping up with the internal agility requirements. And so APIs provide that for sure. Fascinating insight, Sumit. Thanks for coming. Absolutely. Thank you for having me.